Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to do the brake holding capacity test for the mooring winches. From the beginning I will start, here is the formula and few equipment we need for the test. Here we have the hydraulic jack and we have the bracket over here with for the mounting to the winch. And for the formula calculation, we have excel formula and all the details you can take from the mooring management plan. And uh, this is my excel format for the calculation for my uh, mooring winches and in this diagram I will show you this is my hydraulic uh, jack with the proper gauge and this is the bracket and you can see the mounting point over here. This is mooring winch drum and main purpose of the calculation is we need to find the jack force and here you can see the formula by entering the relevant data you can get the jack force for each stage okay here is my uh, calculated sheet uh, in this details you can find out from the wire certificate uh, nominal wire diameter and the wire mbl and what we going to do is here we will calculate the 80 percent and 60 percent mbl and after mbl we will calculate the jack force for the relevant MBL. Okay, now we are going to do the practical brake holding capacity test for the forward mooring winch. Okay, let's go then to the forward station. Main purpose of this test is make sure the safety of mooring ropes and mooring wires. And for that one, we have to mark 80% and the 60% MBL marks next to the brake handle. Okay, this is the mooring winch and here you can see equipment for the test this is the bracket for the test and this is hydraulic jack and this is stand and this one is the mounting point for the brackets okay first what we have to do is we will little uh, pay off my rope and I want to make clear that mounting point Okay, now you can see this my mounting point is very well clear from the ropes. So now we are going to mount the bracket for the test. Here you can see brackets are properly mounted to the drum and everything is ready. We are using allen key to move these uh, marks. This marks for the 60% and the 80%. The forward one is for the 60% mark and aft one is for the 80% mark. Okay, now we will uh, make tight the brake first. We will make tight till 100% and here you can see the hydraulic jack pressure is zero ok cross check full tight the brake till 100% as per my calculation jack force for the 80% MBL is 64 kilo newton so we are using this handle and we are increase the pressure inside the hydraulic jack and you can see the piston is moving upward direction and I will bring this pressure till 64 kilonewton. Okay, you can see now my jack force is 64 
64 kilo newton here okay and now what i am going to do is i am easily releasing the brake very slowly when brake holding capacity reach to 64 kilo newton the drum will be slip and same time you can see a force drop pressure drop in the hydraulic jack so we will keep monitor this hydraulic jack carefully till the force drop sudden force drop slowly we are releasing the brake and same time we are monitoring okay here you can see the sudden movement of the pressure drop okay that means my brake holding capacity is now at 80% of the mbl so here we have the 80% uh, mark so we will use the allen key and by allen key we will little slack this mark and we will bring this mark exactly aligned to the 80% of the mbl okay here you can see we mark this uh, 80% of mbl okay now what we going to do is we will release the brake again and same time we will release this hydraulic jack and we will bring this all the unit to same initial position and after that again we will tight the brake same same we will tight the brake and next we are going to try out the 60% so as per my calculation 60% is around 45 kilo newtons so i am bringing this uh, hydraulic jack pressure till 45 kilo newton okay here you can see it's almost 45 kilo newton and same i will slowly release the brake from the mooring winch so when it is reached to 60% of the mbl there will be a sudden drop all also and there will be a movement of the drum okay we will wait for the sudden drop of the pressure here you can see the sudden drop of the pressure that means my winch brake reached to the 60% of the mbl okay so same procedure here we have the mark so we will use the allen key and we will bring this 60% mark here same same we will mark 60% so by tightening the allen key okay here you can see 80% and 60% of the mbl so we have successfully completed our the test okay now i will uh, take an out this all equipment i will unmount this bracket and i will take out this hydraulic jack and uh, so guys this is the way how to do the brake holding capacity test for the mooring winches and thank you very much for watching my video and see you in next time cheers